Hey guys, so I am so excited and just like over the moon because I ordered hatching eggs and I am so excited. They are silky, frizzle, sizzle. Um, I don't know if there is a fra frazzle potential with this, but I am so excited. So I found this um, seller on eBay and she had good prices. Um, she had so many pictures of her birds and um, this is like all she does is take care of her birds and she's super nice and I was so happy to be able to get some of her eggs. So this is my first time hatching. Um, there are a lot of nerves associated with this because I really want it to go well, but yeah. So look, my eggs are here, but before we open up the eggs, let me show you what the incubator looks like. And right now I'm kind of working on um, getting the loud um so i'm kind of working on getting the temperature right um i've been doing that for the last couple of days i bought um a it's like a humidifier um and temperature reader so i have that in the incubator and i'm trying to get everything calibrated to the right temperature and humidity and everything before the eggs go in um but let me show you what it looks like Okay, so here it is, and I am using that towel to see if I can, like, help it heat up more. So it measures in Celsius, so I have to translate it, but let me show you what these little um, temperature readers look like. I got those from Amazon, and it looks like, I mean, they both read differently. So that one's 99 yeah so this one's showing this and also i just took the lid off so it's going to change but the humidity has gone down so i'll probably have to add some moisture in there into the bottom but here are the layers so this is the egg tray um this is what will rotate the eggs when they're in there let me take these two guys out and then that's the rotator tray and then this is the bottom tray and it yeah it looks like there's there's only a little bit of water still in there so I'll add a, I'll add a little bit before I put the eggs in which I won't put them in until tomorrow I'll give them time to settle from their um, journey but this is how you set this up I'm gonna put these in the same spot and see if they'll give me the same reading. We'll see. And then this right here is the lid. So this fits, this part fits right here. And that's how this turns the eggs. So when you're closing it, you gotta make sure you get that into that spot. Okay, I got it. Let me push that there okay so now that i've showed you the incubator um let's go ahead and unpack these eggs i cannot wait to see so that the ad was for five plus extra so let's see here's the box Let's see what it looks like. All right. Here's bubbles. Packing bubbles. All righty. Let me get up a bit. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So they're all within here. All these little eggs.
Okay, here they are. Oh, look at those cute stickers. They're so cute. Aww. Okay, so now I'm going to read this little letter. I think this is her, um, I think it's an NIP certificate. Let me see. Yeah, so it's the NPIP program. So this is her certificate. Wonderful. It's always nice to know your eggs come or your chickens come from someplace reputable. All right, so here we go. Let's unpack these babies. Look at those stickers again. They are so cute. Look at that. Oh. All right, I'm trying to be extra gentle. She's got it taped up with a rubber band. So let's do this. All right, moment of truth. How many eggs are in here? I don't think it's a dozen. Definitely at least five, I know that. And they're wrapped even more. Hi, little babies. Let's unwrap you. Actually, I'm gonna bring this out. I'm gonna bring this little table out. Mm -hmm. All right, that makes, this is better. This is a better setup. Okay. So precious. Okay, so the first thing that I that I read that I'm supposed to do is to check for any cracks. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take a ganders at these little guys. Oh, they're so cold. Ooh. So cute. Just a nice little small egg. Come on, there we are. Look at that. So cute. No crack. Very gentle. This is the biggest one. This is a big one. It's a big guy. The eggs look really good. There's no cracks. Um, so what happens next is that they are supposed to sit for 24 hours to get room temperature. And then after that, I can go ahead and put them in the incubator. So we will check back in tomorrow. So it's almost 24 hours later and um, I'm getting ready to put the eggs in the incubator and I'm just double checking like the humidity and the temperature before I do that. But I wanted to show you guys something really cute that I made for the my six year old to help keep track of like the days leading up to hatch and things like that and I made this on canva and then i printed it off let me show you what it is so i just did this really quickly on canva i thought it would be super cute um for her to follow along cross off days make little notes 
So I added the chickens on top, the chicks, and then I added um, the chicks down here at the bottom, and then I put put on their hatch countdown. So I thought that was super cute, and I just did this on Canva. Super easy. Here are the eggs. They've been sitting like this all night long, so hopefully they are um, room temperature and ready to go in. The incubator's right there. And I'm gonna double check the temperature and then the humidity, and then we're gonna stick them in. So the eggs are in now, and the little ones help put them in. So that's why I didn't um, film that. I don't typically put them in any of my videos on purpose. So they're in and we'll just keep track of the humidity and heat um, from here throughout. Um, they should hatch on February 2nd and today is January 13th. So I'll keep updating as we go along, but they're in and I'm excited. So the chicks have been in the incubator for four days now and I have, to be honest, I've been trying to candle them every single day that they've been in there. But I'm going to try to do it um, on camera for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Um, honestly, I've been like researching my butt off trying to like make sure that what I'm seeing is actually something that is viable and I believe they are. So let's check it out. So today is day 12 of the eggs in the incubator and I am pretty sure one is not viable um, and I've been hesitant to throw it out just because I am a novice and I may not know exactly what I'm looking at so I think I'm confident now to go ahead and get rid of that egg but I'm gonna check it one more time I checked it last night and it looked the same but I'm gonna check it one more time today and then go ahead and get rid of it because I don't want it to explode in the incubator so this is the egg right here and I'm gonna go ahead and check it really quickly I need darkness though So finished candling it and I do believe this egg is um, stop developing along the way. Um, I could definitely see like a red line through there um, and it doesn't look like the other eggs. The other eggs are showing lots of veining. Um, you can see the baby chicks moving around in there and with this one you just aren't seeing anything. So I don't want this to explode in the incubator. I was in the chicken Facebook groups that I follow and someone just had an egg blow up in their incubator so I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the compost bin and I'm not going to think about it anymore. So we still have six viable eggs and hopefully we get six live chicks here in the next few days. So we've been using this little calendar to scratch off the days and I'm thinking on because these are silky um, bantam eggs and a lot of people are saying that silkies hatch um, 
like a day or two earlier than standard chickens. Um, I think I'm going to lock them down on day 17 and then um, see what happens. But I would love for them to hatch early, but I'm also prepared for them to like go to day 21. Um, yeah. So I'm working on my list of things that I need to get um, before the chicks hatch and I need chick feed, puppy pads, and then the bedding that I'm going to use. I think for the first um, few days to a week I might use paper towels and then um, as the chicks get used to eating and drinking and they know where their food is, um, then I will switch them to the puppy pads and along with a little bit of bedding. I found that um, using puppy pads on the bottom and then you know adding bedding to the top makes for a cleaner um, cleanup. Um, there's not like poop stuck anywhere to the container. And I can show you what my container looks like. I actually found um, bins at Rural King for about, what were they, like seven, almost eight bucks. So um, let me show you, they're, they're heavy duty. So here's the bin. Um, the lid is outside because I don't really need it, but here's what it looks like. So I just put the puppy pads down here and then um, uh, bedding on top. Um, I hope that the divides in here don't cause a problem. Um, the bin that I used the first time around when, when we had chicks um, was more flat. So we'll see how this goes, but definitely um, going to use the paper towels the first few days and then switch to the puppy pads and then with the bedding. So nice heavy duty container for eight bucks. I'm going to head out to the store a little bit later today. Um, I've got to go. Ah! I've got to go because I broke the windshield wiper on my car. So that gives me a reason to get out to the store. But while I'm out, I'm just going to grab the chick feed and the bedding and puppy pads and then grab my windshield wiper. And then um, I do need to get some scratch for my other girls. So um, I'm going to grab them another bag of scratch. And yeah, it's almost... Um, lockdown time so that makes me a little anxious um i candled the eggs last night and they are look they're at the point where they're looking really full and it's very dark so you can't really see a lot of what's going on in there now so i'm guessing they're like they are like almost ready and i'm ready i just i have a few more things i need to get but i'm kind of like anxious um for them so I think I'll probably lock them down on in two days so probably today's Friday so I'll probably lock them down on Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday yeah I think I think I'll lock them down on Sunday and then um I have to increase the humidity on that day so I need to figure out how to do that with it being on lockdown like how to keep to monitor that without like I don't know I don't know um because with this incubator it doesn't give me a humidity reading from the outside um I do have a humidity reader inside of it 
Um, so I would have to open it to be able to see what the humidity is. So I, I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to open it several times just to make sure the humidity is at 70 because I noticed like I'll um, have to add water to the incubator twice a day um, just to make sure that it stays around 50% humidity. Um, I do have my whole house humidifier, which might um, help as, you know, as I'm having to open the incubator to add more water during lockdown. Um, maybe if I have my whole house humidifier running, that might help, like, them not lose so much humidity um, during that process. So, yeah. We're almost there. Okay. It's day 18 and it's lockdown day. I'm nervous. I'm gonna candle the eggs quickly before locking them down just to, I don't know, somehow make sure everything's okay. I don't probably don't even know what I will be looking at, but I think I'm just looking for um, a full egg and an air sac. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to remove the turning tray and then I'm gonna remove the top tray in this incubator and then um, put the eggs down on the bottom layer and add more water to increase the humidity to 70 percent and then i am going to only open this incubator to add more water for humidity and that's it and hopefully we will have some like hatching going on between today and Friday, which is the 21st day I am prepared that if they go longer like I, I will understand because they these eggs were shipped and they did have a cool down period so eee. all right so let's go ahead and get started locking these eggs down right here and here and here I'm gonna take this out this out. Then I'm gonna remove this. So that's pretty much it. Um, we took out the rotating the rotating tray and then the top tray um, because we no longer want them to be turned. Um, it's because the chicks should be positioning themselves to get ready to hatch. Um, so yeah, we're on pip watch now and I'm so excited. So I will be back when these babies start to pip and hopefully they all hatch. Cause I'm like super excited. I've got their bin right there. I washed their little um, feeders and everything that I used last time. So yay! Let me show you the what that looks like though. Let me show you those feeders. So here are the oh, here are the feeders, and I think I got these from Tractor Supply. So here's the water, and then the food container goes like this, like that, and then like this. So there are these two. And you know what? We could just go ahead and set their brooder up now. Um, it doesn't hurt. Let's go ahead and do that.
they're pipping it's day 19 and I can see at least four eggs that are pipping we have one two three four we have six eggs so two I I can't see any evidence of it but on four of them I can see little dots that weren't there before and I'm guessing those are the start of the little pip holes um I'm so excited uh, this whole time I've been so worried that um you know I haven't been doing it right my incubator is off or wrong and I know there's still so much that can go wrong between now and then but like I'm just excited to see them at this point of pipping and only after not even locking them down for 24 hours so this is I was and I was gonna lock them down on day 16 but I don't know just all the information I'm reading I just decided to lock and I was gonna lock them down on 17 and then I didn't lock them down on 17 I was like okay if I haven't locked them down on 17 thus far in the day I can just wait till tomorrow so tomorrow was yesterday lockdown and then today little pips and I'm so excited I, I'm so excited I'm gonna try to get it all on camera if possible I have to figure out a way to just for my camera to be able to run and like stay on the charger because um yeah it, it's a lot of like um data and storage and like being able to keep it running um so I'm gonna do the best I can to do that but we're we're at labor and delivery right now like I'm so excited my kids are at school so when they get home we'll all be like just watching I can't wait I'm just looking I just want to see some little fluff balls I want to see some frizzles and some sizzles and some silkies and no naked necks no naked necks but come on chickies let's do this It's day 20 and we have a full blown pip today. Let me see if I can show you. Look at that. All right, come on, buddy. Zoom in. Oh, so excited. Now, some of the other eggs have like tiny, like little needle size holes. And I'm guessing that's where they're going to pip all the way out at. But this is the only one that has like cracked like a big noticeable crack on the egg so yay i'm so excited and i think this is the tiniest egg that we have so it's a little one i cannot wait i'm so excited day 20 i cannot wait i've got the brooder set up um let me show you i'm gonna plug in the brooder plate today so that it's warm um for the chicks and yeah let's go let's go plug that in so excited so here is the brooder it's set up it's ready to go except for food they don't need food for the first 72 hours so let's go ahead and plug this thing in <sighs> yay all plugged in the light is on so it's on
our first baby is out we are so excited it's a naked neck uh, of course I would get a naked neck first thing out of the shell but it's really cute I'm sure I will learn to love that bare naked neck little feathery cutie pie all right so that little chick's out he's been screaming at the top of his lungs and screaming so much so that another egg has pipped and hopefully we'll have another chick in the morning or um, another chick like working its way out by the morning and hopefully we'll be able to see it but um, it's getting late and I'm tired I'm going to bed so I will see you in the morning and see what these chicks are doing So it's day 21 and we have two naked necks. They are so cute. They are so, so cute. The reason I did not really, I did not want to get naked necks is because one, I just like the look of a full neck of feathers, but also, I was just concerned about them staying warm in our garden zone. I was concerned about them being able to keep all of that warm in our um, zone. So I live zone 5B and we dip into the negatives in winter. Like today, it's not negative today, but it's 15 degrees. Like that's enough to freeze and cause like frostbite so that's that was my concern um so yeah we'll just see how it goes with them um they're so cute they i didn't realize that they would hatch and just scream continuously um the first one that hatched just screamed and screamed and screamed and then um it was late so we ended up going to bed and then by the morning there were two in there and the first hatchling got more quiet and then the second hatchling is screaming and screaming and screaming so I mean I can't imagine what it's like coming out of an egg and just like where the heck am I so yeah there's one more egg that is pipped right now and I'm there's a lot there's a pretty big hole there so I cannot wait to see what that one looks like hopefully um, it's one of a different color because we've got two of the white ones white naked necks so I want to see what else is gonna come up and the little teeny egg that I'm really hoping hatches has not pipped or anything so hopefully that will pip today or tomorrow um, yeah I'll keep keep the incubator and 
everything going probably until today's Friday. I'll probably keep it going um, until Sunday. And Sunday, if I don't see anything, then I'll start to like do more investigation, potentially helping hatch if they're still alive. Hopefully, I I would love for all of the eggs to hatch. So, yeah. So it's day 22 and I have moved the two hatch chicks to the brooder and then um, we have one other chick that hatched today. Um, it's black and it does have neck feathers so I'm excited to see what that little baby looks like once it fluffs up. Um, there are two more eggs that are um, pipped and on the way. Um, yeah, We're, I, I'm, this is a very um, stressful process for me, and be, only because I'm very impatient, and so I feel like once they pip, they need to be hatched in like an hour, because like I, I just don't have any patience. I, I feel like my days, my, these last three days have been just staring into the brooder, or the incubator, like nonstop, so I'm kind of like, ready for them to hatch so we can kind of move away from that portion of the pro of the process but these little babies are so tiny and cute let me see if i can show you real quick so the black one's kind of hidden back here um but he or she is in there just peeping and standing and then she'll just fall asleep and <laughs> and get up and then fall asleep like they are so up and down. I was not expecting them to be so like, like, you know, they wake up for a second, then they fall right to sleep, then they wake up, then they fall asleep, then they wake up, then they fall asleep. So it's been quite funny to watch. So here's the brooder. The other two chicks are underneath the heat plate and I don't think I realized how teeny um, silky chicks can be these guys are so itty bitty um, I have to do I have to change their water somehow I don't really feel like this is a safe water uh, bin for them so yeah let me see if I can get one out okay let me get one of these babies out can I have one can I have you what do you mean? <gasps> okay so here's one. This is actually the first chick that hatched. Look at that cutie pie. She's so gorgeous. It's a cute little showgirl. Are you a showgirl? I know you're shaking. You're shaking. I'll put you back in a minute. I'm so sorry, but you're just so cute and we have to show. We have to show you off, your little gorgeous thing. You see, the light is not right that better hi hi yes you are just a puffy pretty little princess you are so puffy and so cute yes so cute this is the first hatch hi little poof head little poof head there there so cute aren't you
So it's day 24. We have one more chick left in the brooder. Um, I don't know if this baby's going to be okay, but we're going to, we're just going to see. I had to do a lot for this chick to help it out of its egg, so I don't know. It seemed okay yesterday, last night, that it was coming around, but today it's a little, I don't know. I'll show you. So it's kind of just laying there on its side. Um, and I'm going to get in there and get it out right now and just check on this baby. So here's the baby. Let me show you. Just got him out and he seems he seems strong even though he was laying on his side. Um, I think there is some weakness in this leg here. A little bit of weakness there, but hopefully he can build up the strength. Look at that cute little foot. You can do it. You can do it, I know. Are you ready to be with your siblings? Huh? You don't want to be alone. This little baby's very feisty. Um, we had him out last night, and we're just cuddling with him, trying to encourage him to thrive, and he would fall asleep and then he'd wake up and start pecking our hands like you just a little feisty one huh you're a little feisty you ready to go with your siblings yeah all right let's get you in Should I show you where the water is first? Let me shake this water up a bit. Alright, I'll show you where the water is first, honey. Oop. There, and then here you go. Here's your feet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So all the chicks are hatched, they're in the brooder, um, I don't think I can, I don't think I will be doing this again. It was very stressful for me, the hatching portion of it, um, and I think because the emphasis on maintaining humidity and temperature and the you know not being able to open the incubator but the incubator humidity would go down and so you've got to open it to put you know more water in it 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 became very stressful trying to make sure that I was doing all the right things so that I would have a good hatch rate. Um, I had to assist probably on, actually I think I assisted on three of the hatchings, whereas the last chick I assisted quite a bit to help that chick hatch and that particular chick is not doing well right now. Um, it can't like walk. It can't stand. Well, it can stand if I, if it has something to lean on. But other than that, it's not standing. It's not walking. Um, 
in the brooder like it's just like laying down like there, it's not doing anything it's not It's not even really like trying, I guess. And that could, I mean, I, I'm, my assumption is that it's just exhausted. Um, I've been trying to keep it hydrated and giving it food and giving it um, Nutri Drench. And um, I put a, um, what is it called? I think it's save a chick that little powder um, in the water um, but it's not it's not going for the water it's not going for the food on its own I've been using a syringe to feed and water it um, or and yeah give it water and it's just it's just very weak and so I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with that one. I'm, I'm expecting it to pass. I just don't know how it can come back. It, it was much more vigorous that first day and a half. And then it's just kind of um, declined from there. I've given it raw egg yolk. Um, I, I feel like I'm trying everything that I can... Um, uh, learn to try so I've been utilizing the Facebook groups and doing my research and I don't know I guess sometimes these things just happen and especially if you assist in a hatch um, I know that I read that you know those chicks use typically don't thrive so I don't know it's just really hard to see that little baby like struggle like that and like what was super sad this morning I was like I there's a method where you put it in a cup and it the cup kind of supports it and helps it build its legs so I had it in the cup and the chick just like dropped like just dropped sunk down in the cup it was like gurgling a little bit and I'm just like like I'm not, I don't know if I'm built for this, if I'm built for this, like, I know that, I know that, you know, chickens can die, you know, anything can happen, I know that, I'm aware of that, but it's this, like, dragging on portion of it, I guess, like, yeah, it's difficult, so, um, I don't know if I'll be hatching anything anytime soon, and especially not any chickens, just because I, depending on what these chicks are, I don't plan to keep any roosters, only keeping um, the hens. So if there are roosters, I'm going to send them, you know, give them away to new homes. So I'm not sure exactly where that will put my chicken count. Right now, I, you know, have six hens outside in their run. And then I've got these chicks inside. So we'll see how like the, those numbers shake out once these chicks get big enough to um, identify if they're roosters or hens. But yeah, so as far as the incubator, um, I feel like it worked pretty well. It did what it was supposed to do. Um, the only thing is that at lockdown um, that humidity you know would drop like it has done during the whole process so like from putting the eggs in through to hatch you have to add water to keep the humidity who oh cannot talk you have to add water to the incubator by opening the lid and pouring water in and that's how you maintain the humidity in the incubator um so i found myself adding water twice a day i usually add would add some in the morning and then add some in the evening because i found that overnight the humidity would drop um just because nobody was there to you know add water to it so i would do it in the morning and the evening and then with the you know hatching stage you're not supposed to open the incubator um, but how am I supposed to do that and maintain humidity? So it was like, it was like a balancing juggling act and it was not fun. So 
that is where that's where the struggle was is that that hatch portion you know how do i do this and not let out all the humidity and not you know set the chicks up for failure by opening it and causing issues especially after they pipped you know i still needed to add humidity or add moisture in there so it was it was difficult it was stressful it was like a juggling act i ended up getting a uh, like a turkey baster big syringe thing and kind of cracking and then squeezing water down in there but still had chicks that needed a bit of assistance with their hatch and then the one that needed more assistance that's struggling but i think overall the incubator did its job it's just finding a way to make sure that the humidity you know remains stable during the hatching process when you can't open it or you're not supposed to so i actually kept my humidifier that i have in this room going constantly um this room is warm so it, I, it wasn't a huge significant drop um when i opened the incubator but i still think that caused issues with the hatch so yeah i if i had the choice to buy this incubator again i probably would buy a different one i would buy one where it measure the measures the humidity along with the temperature for you and then also has an external way to add moisture into the incubator i think i would i would uh prefer something like that along with something that also has its own candler on it so if ever down the road and i am like needing to hatch more chicks or more of anything definitely i will probably get a different incubator to do it probably i say that now but like you know right now i'm super stressed out with you know these new birds and then this sick one that i have to you know like do all this extra stuff too so i'm like in the in this time period i'm like I can't foresee myself ever doing this again because it was very like, it's like too much. But I know myself down the road, I might want to do this again, probably at, not at this house, but another house down the road that we may live in. So yeah. All right. So that is it for this video. It's video is going to be super, super long, but let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, just about anything i'm happy to answer and i'll keep you guys updated on the little chicks and i'll see you in the next video bye